uh, is an acronym, okay? So G is for goals, R um, is for the reality, O is for options or opportunities, and W is for way forward or wrap up. Now, grow coaching methodology is a, uh, a known coaching methodology all around the world. No, it's a, it's an internationally known grow, uh, coaching methodology. Um, whenever we coach professionally, you no, know, coming from from advanced learning programs with other organizations, we use a grow form as well. Um, and contrary to what people believe um, in in coaching, we're in. Oh, so yeah, no, parang, I, I think we already established this, na, na, that when we talk to people, you don't spoon feed them. Rather, you ask them questions to help them self realize and actualize. No? So, yun yung gagamitin natin. Um, SMART as well is an acronym that is embedded within the GROW coaching methodology. SMART naman is specific, and you might, and you might have heard it before, specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and time-bound. So, we are going to um, dissect both of these, no, the GROW and the SMART, uh, so that when we execute the coaching with our guys, they also have a good understanding um, of where we are going to go, no, that, that end goal, that vision that we are casting towards them. Yeah. So there. Um, so before we proceed to other slides, now I wanted to ask you guys, what do you think about um, the, the picture that you have there right now? The question mark, the, the cogs, the light bulb, the target mm -hmm. and uh, the rocket what do you think it means so siyempre palaging cryptic tayo ngayon so what do you think they mean ma'am avi uh, but it's related to growth eh. Parang mm -hmm. you first get uh, curious and then you get the right. idea growing uh -huh. that was and then you adjust for ano <laughs> you, you adjust for the change. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. But yeah. no, no, see, see, Avi, so brong konti lang si sabi niya. But tama naman yun, no? <laughs> it's all about growth. And that's why you have no idea. <laughs> Before I, I give you my piece on this, let me let me ask, ano, Ara naman. Sige, thanks, Avi. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll debrief mm -hmm. that. Sige, go, Ara. Yung chart na yan, kasi you start. Sa akin lang yung interpretation because you, you don't know. The question mark is, mm -hmm. ah, it also can relate to goals. Eh. Mm -hmm. So, first, you don't know what you want. Let's mm -hmm. say, or you want, yeah, and then, um, yung ano, one thousand, those like mechanical ano, icons. Yeah, the gears. The gears is like once you have an idea of where you want to go. Or your goal, you're mm -hmm. gonna start to write down kung ano man yung steps. So mm -hmm. parang ganon. And then para like meron ka ng motion. And then yung light bulb for me is like once you you mayri meron ka mga self realizations maybe mm -hmm. about your goals. And then yung target is now you're going to start to realize I you you know. Mas parang na aligned ka na ganyan sa mm. goal mo. Mm -hmm. And then yung rocket is like, yes, move forward. <laughs> yeah, success, <laughs> yung tuloy, no? Tuloy na, tuloy, tuloy na kasi like, alam mo na where you wanna go, eh. <laughs> right, okay. Parang Good. ganun. Sige. So, um, so, I'm not saying that you guys actually do this with, with your teammates, no? Especially for, for Avi whenever you're coaching. Although you can. Um, whenever you have parang icons like this, you don't have words in in the way that you present Kunyari, you don't have the growing smart there it's a it's a very good test for you and how well somebody will be um expressing themselves for one and uh, you get the good feel and how people think um how much or they can be because hey, people can can think about this as simply as ah this is chalkboard it looks like a kid drew it diba? Parang pwede naman ganun eh. And the thing is, um, because of our biases, we might feel na parang ano ba naman to, bakit ang childish. But um, from from what we learned, diba, we need to hold back our judgment and try to understand it first. And, and for me, that's the question mark there talaga. Eh. It's basically um, training ourselves to be curious, exactly what Abby said. But at the same time, um, it, we have to understand kasi talaga muna. No? Um, we need to understand kung ano nga ba yung goal nila, um, what they want to do really. 
uh, and and when you're going into that coaching session, um, although you have a plan, you you have uh, goals for that person um, for whatever other aspect of of their life it is that you want to improve on, especially so so work naman no. Um, but uh, we have to remain curious. We have to understand first and learn about the person. Kung aligned bang ba kayo, no? Or um, we need to know whether um, this person's goals is in alignment to the vision that you have cast for them. Yan. Question, Mary. May question yeah. ako. When you mm-hmm. coach someone, does their goal doesn't necessarily have to be a business goal, like related, let's say, sa work, right? It's not a professional goal only, or does it, pag, pag professional um, setting, kailangan ba professional din yung goals, or they can share their own personal goal? Mm-hmm. Um, well, well, let me ask you muna, no? what are you coaching them for? Are you coaching them for life, or are you coaching them for growth? Career. Sa, career, oh, growth. career. Yeah. So, mm-hmm. di ba, syempre, um, that when we when you say professional, then it's business related. Um, if it's life, naman, then it's a different story, no? Because um, it can be in the capacity of, of uh, a friend, lang naman. But you can use this form as well. You can do grow as well. So yeah, mostly again when you use the grow coaching methodology, it's it's more for the business or the organization. Yeah. All right. See ya. Because um, this, this, the techniques here can also be applied personally in life. Nila if they want to do oh, their yeah. own, ganon, yeah. their own assessment. Mm-hmm. Ganyan, ng That's right. Personal um, goals, nila, I, right? Oh, oh yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll teach you how to do that later. No. Um. So the grow coaching template, even although it's it's uh used professionally, it can be used personally. Then, talaga. Um. You you can even coach yourself, no. Um. With by using this. Because it allows you to, ano nga, to to think and then self-realize sort of things that you need to do nga yeah. with your life, either you know, personally ko, or nag- in the nag- business. Because I feel like it's the professional and the personal. Eh. Like it's hard to to have like a professional gro- go- goal without it in um nag- parang kung mag- nag- affecting cross, personally. Affecting your personal. Because usually, let's say, uh, I want to I want a big house. Kung nare dalang, that's your personal goal. Yeah. Or oh, I want to travel yeah. the world. Then, siempre mm-hmm. your professional has will have to also kind of intersect with the your per, personal yeah. goals, right? Like you mm-hmm. work harder, let's say, to to make yeah. the goal possible. Parang ganun. That's right. So that's a good foundation, no? Whenever you do your coaching, that's a good foundation, and to remind people, um, and pretty sure you've heard it sa commercials, no? Para kanino ka bumabangon. It's a, it's that reminder with people when you talk to them, or remember. Uh, pangarap mo sa family mo uh, is to have a house. Uh, maybe not big house, but house, di ba? Because right now you're renting, so you want to have your own. You don't want to pay for rent forever. Um, so how do you achieve that goal? Um, it's by you know growing in the career that you have chosen, di ba? What's your career path now? Um, kind of like what we were talking about since day one, di ba? You don't want to be a dishwasher all your life. You want to, you want to grow. I mean, people naturally would want to grow, unless they're completely satisfied and totally happy and fulfilled with washing dishes. Then, by all means, sige, okay lang yan. But we also know that it's a very menial job. You know, it doesn't pay that much. Um, it pays, yes, but not much. Um, so that goal, um, ang, ang mangyari lang naman yan is yung timeline mo. You will still be able to reach that goal, but in a longer amount of time. So when when you ask this person, ano ba yung yung timeline na nakita mo? Ano yung goal mo? Is it like in five or ten years you will have your own place, diba? So that eh, tama naman, no? the, the the choices that you have in your career will affect your personal life as well. Um, sorry, Maria. I've- no, 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 more no. questions about this because this is something new to me like uh, we sure. don't do it in, in let's say in my own organization no one's done it with me i've never mm. had someone coach me um I'm, i don't know with avi avi my experience about coaching or being coach <laughs> Wala. so parang ko lang in, a, in our company i mean mm. Where, at what point do you apply this? How do you set the meeting? Like, at what point of their career or their time with the company? Is it new hire? Is it mm. like, in the, I just want to see, like, know in a practical like sense, like, how oh. do you apply this? Yeah. So, um, 
siguro no I'm, i'll leave the the um like how, how often you would want to do this with your guys no to you um reason being is well when you're talking about career siguro naman um like I don't know. It's, it's going to be more relatable if I tell you the story in the call center. You know? Because in the call center, we hire about, at the very least, 100 people per month. Um, with that, uh, kailangan naming ng magsusupervise for those new 100 people. So almost on a monthly or maybe quarterly basis, we would at least need another leader or two. Um, so yung career pathing, medyo mabilis, no? Parang we get to ask people, we get a, we have a pool of people, we ask them, do you want to be a supervisor soon? Do you want to be managing people? Do you want that experience? So with that, nagiging part siya ng goal. Um, and how often do we need to coach them is, uh, I believe, another question that you have. Um, Siyempre, if, if you're starting lang, no? Um, the more often you do this, the better. Uh, you must, uh, parang yung, um, coaching up for for us, no, again in the call center world, weekly siya nangyayare for the people that report under a supervisor. Um, and and for a manager, naman um, depends. Then uh, if if the process is complex, if there are a lot of monitoring that that has to happen, then possibly a weekly coaching session with the supervisor is needed as well. Um, if then we are talking about um, careers in general, pwede namang medyo hindi ganun ka, ka frequent yung meeting. Pwede by monthly or pwede once a month or even every quarter na lang yung meeting. Although it's not much of a coaching that happens when you talk about the career pathing talaga, no? Um, it's going to be more of a mentoring session. And we'll talk about that as well. Um, so for now, I guess if if ang minimum kasi the minimum standard for coaching is monthly. Uh, I think that will be applicable for you guys as well because like you mentioned Aaron, no? um, parang you wanna know the performance of this person uh, if they're still being productive and if they are not. Um, again, the standard would be we will give them uh, at the very least. Um, a chance of two months to prove whether they are productive or not. And if if not, um, on the third month, they will be basically be placed on probation, meaning, oh, sige, um, I will give you a goal. Um, this is the part wherein we go into um, performance management. Na. Oh, the past two months, you didn't do well. Um, the third month, um, kailangan natin mag-step up because we cannot afford to keep you performing subpar. So kailangan on third month, we're back on track pa aket na tayo ulit ng performance natin. So here's what we're going to do. So planning and all that. Um so preferably on the third month they pass, no? They they ace their goals. Fourth month ganun din. Um but if they are going to continue showing poor performance on the third and the fourth month, um it can be stipulated in the policies and procedures that you have that they can be removed from their positions as well. All right. Yeah. So let me ask you this. Um, what is your short-term goal? Um, short-term, we were talking about in three months' time, in six months' time. Yeah. Can you give me one goal lang at least, parang, you know, one goal on the top of your list? I'll start with uh, Abby. And um, again, just to, to be clear, let's make it uh, no, um, in alignment to... <laughs> and, and change gears tired again serious kagad, no? Yeah. Yeah, sige. Or it, it doesn't have to be big, no? It can be a small one as well. Yeah, short short term goal shot. Uh, well, I think it's just to uh, dessert menu. <laughs> a dessert menu. Okay. Yeah. So um let me ask, well, why is it a uh, dessert menu? Why is that your short-term goal? Wala ba kayong dessert menu? Wala, you need to revamp it. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, and and uh, no, no, parang this is me kind of like getting more out of what Abby said. So how how uh, any percentage of of your customers um will be 
looking into your dessert menu and actually purchasing them. Have you nagkaroon ka na ba ng like study before or from experience from your previous lives na kailangan yan and then about maybe out of the hundred percent people coming in, there's at least thirty percent that will order dessert. Parang ganon. <laughs> Uh, 30% siguro. 30% yeah. Okay. Halos. Okay. Kasi parang they were looking for something sweet after savory. Mm-mm. For something refreshing sana. Okay. All right. So good. So um I mean it makes sense naman no. Um and and that's going to be a good one. So let's say yun nga yung gagawin natin a dessert menu. Rather would you would you call it a dessert menu or parang di ba parang ah alam ko na. Diba in, in the page on the menu, you have your desserts and you have your refreshments or beverages, tama ba? Mm-hmm. Yeah, so parang ganun ba? Is that something that you're envisioning? Parang sig- um, siguro parang a mix of both. It's either okay. food siya eh, or, or a refreshments. Oo, okay. Sige. And um, are we looking at having... What's your theme ba? Tacos eh. <laughs> Tacos, I guess. So maybe fusion with with Filipino cuisine, like maybe halo halo and ganon. It's mix of everything. <laughs> I I froze. Okay, well, so is it is it like that? Parang fusion nga of of different cultures, like yeah, since it's, it's, it's... Of different cultures. Okay, so pwede. Ay, sorry, pwede nating yah halo nga no. <coughs> Yung ganon. Halo, ang halo, halo. Um, maybe having sa gugulaman and stuff like that. Yeah. <laughs> Pero, okay. okay. Palagay ko kasi, uh, it depends din sa babagay dun sa concept. Yeah, of course. Dapat palaging in alignment yun. All right. Mm-hmm. Sige. So, dessert menu or beverage or refreshment. Sige. Thanks, Abby. Ara, how about you? Short-term goal for the business, in terms of business. Mm-hmm. Like generally, even people, ganon. Yeah. Or yeah. yeah, related. Ako may short term goal. Cause you're talking about like a three month timeline, de ba? Ah. Mga ganon. Ako my main is really to to get Avi to really be comfortable and confident in her, ano role, in her mm-hmm. new role, and okay. um, yeah, yon yun yung parang. One of my main goals. Uh-oh. Right. Okay. Good. So we again, this is already the step one. No. So we are um, doing something in order for us to reach that goal sooner than later. Nga, no. All right. And basically, at this point or after this training, um, ang kailangan nilang is an assessment, basically, on how effective Abby will be, diba? Um, how how the team will respond to her leadership, diba? and things like that. So yeah, it's okay, good. Okay. So I want you guys to keep that in mind, though, your short-term goals, and we'll talk about it. Um, as we go along discussing the 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 grow and the smart, um, we are going to use your short-term goals for that as well. Okay, so maybe you can write it down or maybe place it in a spreadsheet or something. All right? So okay. Let's continue. So what is feedback ba? Um, in your own words, what is feedback? Let's start with you, Ira. Feedback is it's a, a, a no, um, providing parang ano to, uh, assessment mm-hmm. or like a observations of ano a certain of a person usually mm-hmm. based on their ano yun nga, parang their on on a set of ano parang um uh, um uh, goals, let's say. Goals, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Parang ganun, yeah. It's an assessment. Yeah. Of, it's an um, assessment. It's a good or a bad. Mm-hmm. Good or bad assessment. Okay. So it's an observed behavior or something towards Mm-mm. a person. Parang, parang, yeah. Yeah. Based on the goal or the measure. Parang it's like a, yeah. Ganun. Feedback. Okay. Sige, good. Thank you. Abby? Abby, are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> Ayan, sige. So, what's feedback? feedback? 
um pero it's a comment uh parang it's an opinion uh opinion or a comment an opinion or a comment towards a person as well. Yes. Yeah? Okay. Sige. All right. So let's define it a little bit more. No. Um, bottom line, feedback is telling. So giving feedback is telling people how it is. Um, your the, the observed things you have on them, uh, different focuses though, parang, you know, behavior or performance. And usually, um, ito naman talaga yung bibigay mo na feedback. No? I mean, what else are you going to give feedback for? Um, it's of course uh, to to help improve the business, dinaman. Because again, people, business, works hand in hand. Now, um, kind of like what we established on our day one as well uh, about customer service. No, if nobody tells you that you are doing something wrong, then we are going to be left to believe that we are doing something right or perfect, diba? Um If nobody tells you that uh mas maigi siguro kung gawin natin to again we are going to continue doing something knowing na it would be the perfect way of doing it so we need feedback we need to be giving feedback whether it's good or you know bad however um y- yung bad part no it can always be positively scripted but at the same time di ba we established that it would depend on the person that you're talking to um Kasi meron talagang tao that they would prefer na just a very direct approach, an intense, direct, hurtful, possibly. Not naman disrespectful, no? Pero yung very direct approach lang in getting feedback. Kasi for them, either it fuels them or they understand it better kung diretso, walang paligoy-ligoy. Um, however, like for, for us, no, our personality dictates as a counselor that we are more sensitive to that. So we, we would prefer a positively scripted feedback. So instead of, oh, bagsak yung performance mo, ba? instead of that kind of language, um, you are telling the truth naman, yes, bagsak yung performance. But if I talk to you in a way na, hey, you know what, um, Ara, Abby, um, we, we missed our goal by about 5%. Um, we hit, we we missed our mark then. Diba? Mas, mas positive kasi yung dating. It's, a, it's not offensive. You are stating facts and it's still packaged in a good way. Diba? Um, leaving you to think na parang, oh nga, no? parang, yeah, that's something that I need to work on. So, hindi siya ganun kabigat dalhin compared to, ano mo, wala na tayo lahat ng trabaho. Diba? Parang nakakapalo muna siya, no? <laughs> Paano na to? The end of days are coming. Diba? So, you don't want to feel that way. And and coaching should always feel positive, no? Something that you look forward to because you are in it for each other. You are supporting each other. And your language will dictate a, a very big portion of that. Okay? So, yeah. So, again, remember lang that whenever we, we give feedback, um, well, for one, no, it has to be timely. Because if I tell Avi, hey, you know what, Avi, um, last Christmas, two years ago Christmas, um, I appreciated what you did. Ah. Thank you very much. Avi most probably will think about that Ano nga ba yung ginawa ko two years ago? That was two years ago. Diba? It's not timely. That feedback, she would be, again, left to believe na what she was doing was just either okay, uh, diba? or, or parang she could have replicated that na if, if, if what she did two years ago was something that was really good. If I told her that earlier, parang, oy, okay, and, and that's motivational then. Diba? Parang, ah, I'm doing something right. Great, thank you. Diba? Or if you did something wrong, Abby, you know what? Two years ago, nagkamali ka eh. Okay, ano ba yung, ano ba yun? ano ba yung pagkakamali ko na yun? Um, yeah, actually, I observe uh-huh. you. You have been doing it for a really long time na. Eh, ba't di mo siya kinorek? Yeah. Diba? That's, a, that's another question that can be asked. Yes, Aram? Maria, I have a, a ano lang. Kasi, yeah. especially in the kitchen, usually things mm. can be corrected uh, on the spot. Diba? Mm. And let's say, may mali yung pag-slice na yun. Um, you correct the person, diba? And then after you, the, when you see the person na okay na yung nag-improve na, you usually mm-hmm. say, hey, okay yan. That's yeah. exactly how it should be done. Ganyan, mm-hmm. ganyan. Ako kasi, I don't, parang hindi ako, hindi reflex ko na mag-provide ng feedback na immediately. I observe uh-huh. and then I'm like, oh, maybe pagdating ng performance evaluation, doon ko na <laughs> But it's still not, uh, it's still matagal pa rin yung time na yun. So I think we just have to 
yes. be comfortable in acknowledging people's um, successes. Kasi hindi, yes. hindi, hindi ako sanay because I, I, it wasn't done to me. Maybe maybe it's a family thing. Like my mom didn't acknowledge me. Like okay. I think literally, it's really personal. It becomes like that because hindi, kayo, right. hindi kayo affectionate sa bahay. So kaya hindi ka oh. affectionate sa mga tao. Yung bang ganun. Yeah. So parang, it's almost like you're, it's not a reflex and you have to build that Force muscle. Yourself into- Yes. Because you have to, because it it's part yes. of being care, giving the care and toward mm-hmm. your staff, the people around yeah. you, right? Tama. Um, it, it's actually it's actually our culture. Um, I wasn't brought up to be like that as well. Um, I I kami lang ni ni Nina. We learn how to do that because it's also our job. Parang, di ba, sobrang hypocritical naman if I tell you guys, oh, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to realize these things and give feedback immediately when when we don't do it, di ba? So, parang, because of that realization as well, we, we force kasi is a very, ano, no, parang intense word, eh. Parang we, we discipline ourselves, yan, more positive, scripted approach. So, we discipline ourselves to, to do that, no? Um, so, every, Every time we, we notice see Nico or Eldest doing something good, hey, good job. Um, parang you're getting better at it. She's, um, she's in the process of learning how to read and write right now. So every time she has a milestone, we tell them, we celebrate it. Parang, hey, good job. Um, you, you know how to write. Oh, parang, you know, pala. you know how to write. Naman pala. You know how to read naman na at this point. Eh. So parang be more confident in that. And slowly, it gets ingrained, you know, in the back of their head. Na parang, yeah, I'm doing something right. So they, they get encouraged and do more of those things. Um, yeah. Even when they make mistakes, especially when, when they make mistakes, um, we ask them, why muna? Remember from, from our first slide, diba? Um, you you ask Muna, oh, what's going on? Why did you make that mistake? Ah, kasi it's because of this and that. Okay. Tapos we ask them, so what could you have done better? So, <laughs> actually, I know that the language that we speak here is more for the coaching ng akagad. So that's how we talk to, to our kids. Oh, what can you do better? What will you do next time? Yeah. So they're, they're um, disciplined to, to think for themselves and to problem solve for themselves as well. We don't want to spoon feed them. Actually, that's how uh, talagang ano eh, um, both Nina and I decided na hindi, gano'n natin sila palakihin kasi parang ako, admittedly, I, I was never really brought up like that. Um, I ask for something, especially for my projects and my mom will do it for me. That's how spoiled I've gotten. Um, Nina naman, my wife, she's she, different naman, no, yung upbringing niya. Um, she was raised to be more independent but I wanted that for my kids because I believe mas mas beneficial nga na um, they will get to realize things on their own with my help, with my guidance. So that's how I do it with them. Oh, see, so how do you do that? How do you think you should be doing it? Yeah. So I, I can get away from from teaching yeah. them exactly for their topics or subjects by asking them for themselves. No, para magisip sila yeah. na sarili nila. Yeah. I also have because Avi with Avi Avi. It's a it's a new role for Avi. Mm. And ano, 'di ba Avi, ikaw sa experiences mo, mas sanay ka na you're following a chef, 'di ba? Or you're following orders. And ikaw yung binibigyan ng feedback, 'di ba? Ikaw yung and you feel good pag sinasabi, "Uy, okay yung ginawa mo." Or like na recognize ka, ganyan, 'di ba? You like that. The but feels good. Do you agree na it feels good? Or anong, anong sa tingin mo impact nun sa'yo? Uh, it feels good eh. Parang achievement na. Oo. Uh, they give a good feedback. Yeah. But in, in this case, Avi is now also gonna be the one giving the feedback to the team, right? <laughs> it's, and siya, she's, it's, eh, ako kasi, in the future, I might not be there all the time to notice her her, mm-hmm. ano eh, how she's doing. Like, I'm yeah. gonna have to ask her, where, parang kami, mag ano kami, maybe first coaching or like, ano, uh, meeting on the side, right? Or I might show up a few times, but mm-hmm. Abby will not be getting that same, parang kumbaga, that constant feedback from Rather from a specific me. or technical feedback. That's what mm-hmm. you're saying then, right? Uh-huh. 
or just even just generally how she's doing as a manager like how i parang how she's managing the team uh-huh. diba? Kasi yeah. I won't be there, Arthur won't be there. I will mm-hmm. probably ask, or you know, we, we, I don't know. It's like how how will Avi get that? Ano? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Good. Ini take ko na nga yun, eh. So um and and like so let me tell you how I coach then, no, um professionally. Um, whenever I coach, sure, because it's more of a self realization, actualization kind of deal. Um, so when when you talk to Abby as well, and let's say I am going to coach her, no. So Abby, um, what do you want to talk about today? What's what's important to talk about today? Yeah. So in terms of, actually, that question is a uh, you know, para pwedeng business side or pwedeng personal, no? Because maybe you have to address the personal first before you get to the business side of things. So that's possible, din naman yun. For the most part, I am going to be asking about the business side of things. So let's say, so hey, Abby, how are you doing? Palagi yan, no? Every time you do your coaching, how are you muna tayo? And then, yeah, I'm doing fine. Um, We're we're going to ganyan. And, you know, Abby describes, let's say, whatever, she's doing well. You know, maybe scratchy throat, but that's about that. That's the extent of it. Okay, well, um, so what's a, what's a, an important topic that um, you want to talk about today? So I will give that choice to her. So now she... She can talk about whatever, you know. She can talk about a specific person. She can talk about her, her career pathing. Um, ko ano nangyayari sa sa divine the restaurant and stuff like that. Um, she want to talk about um how well you're doing, your productivity, efficiency, and so on and so forth. Pero sa kanya manggagaling yon. So um the same deal, no, Arrow. Whenever you have your touch base with Abby, then that's kind of like the same thing that you're going to be doing. So Abby, what are the important things that you want to talk about today? Um, you limit it to a maximum of three as well. Because if you talk about a whole lot of other stuff, let's say, you know, four, five, six, or ten items, sobrang dami na yan. Iisipin mo siya ng sabay-sabay. Uh, and the same goes with your guys, Abby. When you when you coach them, uh, a maximum of three goals lang that you want to talk about. Parang you, it, you can break it down, yes. Pero bottom line is you have your three main goals that you want to talk about every time you do your coaching. Okay? So, yeah. Um, so, going back. You let your guys answer that for you. Now, paano kung hindi naman yun yung gusto mong pag-usapan, no? As a leader, hindi naman yun yung kunyari pag sinabi, "Oh, Abby, what's your ano, what's a more what's an important topic to to talk about today?" Ah, yeah, you know what? I want to talk about um yung gamit natin. But hindi yun yung gusto kong pag-usapan. I can then mold the the conversation into Abby talking about something that I want to talk about as well. So the line of questioning will be okay. So Abby, um, in terms of our workforce and uh, how um, the health, uh, uh, the the mental health of the people are, how are we doing? Yeah. So you know, topic nyo, no? That's the main topic. Necessarily mean na I didn't give her a choice. It's just that that's something that I asked her and what I wanted to talk about at the same time. Still, it's coming from Avi in that aspect, or at least in how she sees things. Yeah. So ganon tayo magano. Ganon yung conversation natin palagi. Yeah. Kasi like I know, so coaching is different from let's say a business meeting. Kasi like a business yeah. meeting is like my agenda, and it's already the whole team or like the managers talking about okay yes. how did we do sales blah blah blah. Mm-hmm. It's very technical. So yung coaching is more on mm-hmm. the personal. On an in individual way, level. Individual yes. level. Oh. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so with um. Let's say the team of Abby, people under her, she's gonna have to pull them aside. Let's say what, like, uh, especially pag new new hire. Let's say uh, they want more to often, be, yeah, no. Uh, uh, mas, mas Dep- until yeah, depend- until depending on mas the complexity. sufficient na sila kung baga mas independent na sila ganon. Yeah. Oh, remember in developmental levels natin D one, D two, D three, D four. So um, the uh-huh. lower the developmental level is, the higher your monitoring should be or your touch bases should be. Yeah. Because I know, walang gani, walang parang oy I'll pull you aside. Hey, how are you doing? Walang ganon eh, de ba, Avi? Have uh-huh. you experienced that? Walang no. Walang parang I don't know. I'm not sure. Eh. Um, siguro kasi hey, we're, we're looking at it in a more formal way, kasi uh-huh. coaching mo. Um, however, the the coaching that has to happen is different, pa rin naman. Pero um, parang it's gonna be heavier on you, Abby, because you have to take notes talaga. O so, kunyari, um, you've been teaching Ara how to Julian this. 
So, um, and the time that you have a uh, parang interaction with with Ara, um, pa parang you have to have a mental note. And kailangan after when you have your free time that you take note of these things so that when it's Ara's time to be coached, kunyari, uh, every Friday ang coaching mo, no? Hey, Ara, how are you doing? Okay, so for this week, ang assignment mo is to, you know, to identify different, you know, uh -huh. different uh, ways to do this. Specifically, I want to talk about um, you doing julienne or dicing and whatnot, whatever. I um, think this is so really important. Think, yeah, yeah. That's that's. I I I. I sorry to cut you off. You had something else to right. say, Mary. Hindi kasi parang by doing this, um, hindi lang yung parang oh sige oh magsubid ka or like oh ikaw na next ha. Kasi yung style namin before walang formal ano. Mm -hmm. So the way because of this coaching, parang naisip ko the best way I can think of it is like when you have a gym coach and mm -hmm. you're accountable. To your to doing your workouts. Kapag pagawala ng gym coach or accountability body, you're like, eh, di ko naman. I'm gonna put too much effort on my work. So parang with Abby coaching, let's say someone and like talagang pulling them aside on a let's say weekly basis or whatever as as needed and really writing down na okay. So your goal for this ano is um I ano yung goals mo is to to be more let's say to learn a technique. And uh -huh. then, what else do you want to learn? Uh, you're asking them, <laughs> or she's telling them? Because it's Again, intersecting it, uh, with, ano, eh, with what they need. Uh, so, um, remember our self-assessment questions in day one? Mm -mm. You remember? Okay. Diba, one of the questions there is, what is your developmental plan for your team? Mary, if um, kasi I plan to also train the new hires mm -hmm. and i heard this kasi before na um in another um training na it's good for the owner to also be part of the the high ano, training of a new hire mm. para they feel like talagang ano parang uh, my connection or something like that yeah, they, they will so feel if, more engaged oh uh, engaged so para i was thinking if if i'm in the kitchen also training someone and ako yung let's say nakatutok sa let's say sa new hire. Uh -huh. Um paano yun big like Abby will also be part of the parang feedback like when we give feedback or it would just be me kasi ako yung like personally nag the train. Um, Mali dito ba siya sa I wonder lang like how that's gonna play no, um, out. For, for starters, you're going to have to uh, agree nga, no on on what your structure will be so if your assignment is new hires then basically you will be abby's supervisor and you will supervise the rest of the new hires um depending lang sa usapan niyo whether it's still going to be abby who will be doing the feedback or you will be doing the feedback for the new hires then or you can give abby your your um, feedback and then she will be the one to give it to the new hires. Kahit na ikaw yung ano yung yung nakafront sa kanila no. So it depends. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to agree nga kung ano yung structure na gusto niyo sundan. Um, pero that that's a parang as long as you are aligned, parang di ba okay lang naman eh. You can you can coach them. Abby can coach them as well. But bottom line is at the end of the day, lahat ng data that information and and uh, Yung mga notes na kay Abby din dapat yun. Uh oh, uh oh, let's just share. Mm -hmm. Let's continue discussing. So, ano pala tayo, no? We we're, were just on our fifth slide. We only have 20 slides today, and diba, and sobrang dami natin na pag-usapan. Um, so, I, I hope we get to squeeze more in. Um, so, yung ibang slides, homework na lang bayan. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, actually, the, 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 this entire day is going to be very important kasi nga ito yung magiging ano natin, no? the, the combination of everything that we have learned and the application as well. And that's something naman that you, uh, we have aligned no? from, from our first meeting, something that you're envisioning to have nga. Um, it's going to be, a, I believe it's something that's going to help you then talaga, um, both personally and as a business, um, to continue growing or in, you know, me making or being stronger. So, yeah. So, without further ado, let me continue um, our next slide. All right. Whenever we give feedback, you no, know, parang the heart should be this. Uh, and if you're familiar with the Rotarians, this is the four-way test to do things. Um, you know, we, we think, we say, or do. And uh, again, this is used for 
basically their parents use this for their moral code, no? Either in doing business or personal relationships. So um, truth, um, is it the truth? Is the feedback that you are going to give the truth? Siyempre, um, it has to be, no? Because if not, we already established that we don't want people who lie, right? So we need somebody that we can trust, somebody that is uh, real and honest. So is it the truth? Siyempre, it has to be. It has to be backed up by data. Remember, um, I think it was on our second day I mentioned na, oh, palagi ka na lang late. But it's not true, di ba? Kasi unless it happens on a daily basis, that's the only time that you can say na palagi. But, you know, um, three times out of, of the entire month, then it's not palagi. Tara? Okay, sorry, Mary. Uh -oh. This is where I think important to take notes, even personal notes, internal notes lang. Yeah. Diba? Kasi meron kang facts eh. May data ka to back up what you're saying. So, kunwari, may ino-observe ka na habitually late. Then you have to write down those, ano, those times para uh, ma matali, <clears throat> diba? Or... Yeah. So, uh, sige, let's talk about that a little bit lang muna, no? Um, so, you observe this, uh, kunyari, na late ng one minute, two minutes, and you feel na, ah, one minute, two minutes lang naman yan, that's fine. Pero, if it happens literally on a daily basis for a month, that's not going to be good, diba? It doesn't show discipline. So what you want to do, the first time it happens, you ask lang, oh, Ara, hey, um, is everything okay? What happened? Are you all right? Yeah, um, ano lang, nagkamali ako ng baba or nakatulog ako sa jeep and whatnot, whatever. Okay, uh, why? Did, did, what happened? Napuyat ako eh. Why? Why? Bakit ka napuyat? So again, you keep on asking these questions, trying to get to the bottom of this so that you are also addressing the part wherein it's an attendance issue. Because it's going to be, it's bad behavior. Siyempre, no? So you want to nip it at the butt. So yun nga. Um, so I ask, okay, so well, um, sige, so tomorrow I hope that you, you know, you spend a little bit more time on travel para, you know, we can come in early. We need to come in as a united front and show everybody that, you know, we are all professional here. Okay, so yun, ganun lang. So you can call it out. You don't have to write a memo or anything. When it happens again, the following day, oh, um, siyempre, you don't wanna you don't wanna pass judgment and say, oh, ano ba nag-usap na tayo? So we need to train ourselves to catch ourselves doing that. Na parang, instead of us saying, oh, ano ba nag-usap na tayo? Hindi. You figure out why, what happened muna. Oh, Era, are you okay? What happened? Everything all right? Diba? Ganun kagad dapat yung reaction natin. You, you went on like on in in yes. one one let's say just to be practical as a practical um example uh, avi di ba yung kay lilay napansin mo she was leaving 10 minutes early the first time napansin mo sabi, in your mind hindi mo siya pinabayaan mo na lang kasi parang ay yung ba yung kasi nung napansin ko siya kala ko once lang nangyari parang hindi ko siya regularly na monitor so, pero nung week na yun, parang, parang one week, two weeks. Ay, bago yung, kanya, yung week na sinabi ko is parang last week. Parang tuloy-tuloy lang na gano'n. Tuloy-tuloy na siya. Doon ko na, na ano na, araw-araw talaga pala yung ginagawa. So, Mary, in this case, if Avi caught her the first time, na observe na niya, and then she talks to her the next day, no? How mm. will Avi talk to a staff na gano'n? Napansin ko, okay. ano, you observe first or you go, how are you? Kasi hindi na how okay. are you. <laughs> sige, so no, so, so sige. Um, End let's, of the let's, day kasi yun eh. Okay, let's ask Avi. So let, let's start our session now, sige. So let's ask Avi. Avi, how will you talk to Lila, was it? Yeah. So kunyari, na-observe mo, nung we should 10 minutes earlier today. Uh -oh. And uh, the following day, you're gonna talk to her. So how will you do it with her? O kunyari, ako si Lila. <laughs> Hmm. Diba? Um, uh, ano, um, delay na pansin ko, um, yesterday you went over, is there any problem ba? Or, parang hindi, uh, hindi mo kasi nako, uh, kit, um, kinuha yung, parang hindi ka kasi nagpaalam na mag-deleave ka early. So, napansin ko lang na you just leave, suddenly leave. Kasi madalas, um, maalis lang lang siya bigla eh. <laughs> Okay. Sige. No, no, that's okay. No, you don't have to explain. You're kind of yeah. like being defensive right now. Okay lang yan. So let, let me, let me, uh, let me do it with you. Kunyari ko si Lilay. Hi Lilay. Um, so I noticed yesterday, um, uh, uwi ka na maaga, no? Hindi ka nagpaalam. Um, parang, diba, what, what happened? 
Sige, so with that, all right, Avi, how do you feel? Uh, parang, uh, syempre, first, parang questionable. Bakit? Um, parang kasing questionable kasi wala naman akong gagawin. Kaya umalis ako parang ganun. <laughs> okay, but but how did you feel when I use your words? Para, your own um, words? Na, ano ba siya? Parang judgmental uh, parang, ba siya? Concern niya? How, how, how do you uh, feel about that? I think it's concern. Concern. Okay. Yes. Sige. Now again, you would be the the best person to to gauge as to what Eli would feel, no, in that situation. Pero if I so let's say uh, again, no, let, let's say you're you're Eli, I'm you. Hey, Eli, how are you doing today? So you start with that, and I think this is what Aaron naman was asking. Do you still start with that? So again, this is more for that concern part. You're trying to understand. Kung okay nga lang ba tong si tao na to? Yeah, I'm I'm okay. Or if not, diba, parang you you be you get a good feel of uh are, are you okay? Hindi, kasi uh, may sakit si mama or whatnot. Uh, I had to um uh, take care of her. Um is that why you went home earlier last night or yesterday? Yeah, actually. Okay. So um, you know, Lila, uh, I would appreciate if you tell me. Okay lang naman eh, for situations like, hindi naman palagi nangyari yan, no? But I would appreciate if you tell me ahead of time so that mm -hmm. hindi kita hinahanap. Kasi I was looking for you um, just before you, ano eh, when you disappeared na. I mean, I did notice you, pero I needed you pa rin, eh, five minutes later. So I would appreciate if you tell me next time. Is that something that you can do? Yan, di ba? Is that so something you can do? Uh -uh. Oh, oh. Yeah, diba you're, you're, you're trying to get a compromise na. So, mm -mm. okay lang ba, Lila? Is, is, are you amenable to that? Oh, Lila, what are you going to say? <laughs> Lila, are you there? Ayun, okay. Uh-oh. Lila. Ayan, nawala tuloy si Abby. All right. So, anyway, sige. Well, well, we wait for Abby to get back. Arrow, what do you think? Um, what approach will you be taking? Okay, yun. What you did. Your approach, because your approach, my concern, it's for it's and you're not you're assuming the best mo na you ask mo na how are you and then lumabas nga na baka may ano pala so mm -hmm. hindi ka nagsa start in a in a parang may tone na may judgment oo uh -oh. and but compared to when you start with that no yeah maganda yung um yeah maganda. okay so this is something naman that you have to be catching each other on no, um, syempre Avi will be doing most of this, pero uh, it would be nice as well for for Avi to observe how you would do it as well. So parang you know you yeah. you you uh -uh. observe that from each other and see parang and then you talk after you have to talk after na parang oh sa tingin mo ba mas maganda yung approach mo mas maganda uh -huh. ba yung approach ni Avi why um, what can be improved and things like that so that you are in alignment as well. So when you talk to people, pare okay ng language. That's that's the reason why I feel I need to really be more present. Eh. Kasi we're, this whole whole theory thing, maga apply lang yan pag talagang may, ex, may opportunities na in the kitchen, right? Yes. So uh -huh. um, I really think I need to really be more involved in the beginning at least. Kasi Avi is, parang kailangan pa niya ng guidance. Like, ha to be held, yung handheld ganun. Yeah, I mean, um, for for both of you, no, because it's the first time that you guys will be doing mm -hmm. this, so it would be good for you to to be observing each other and how you go about doing. Yeah, this. yeah, that's true. Yeah. Avi, are you back? Yeah, yeah. So, okay, I mean, um, if if nagsa struggle ang <laughs> ang wifi on the internet, mo, no? <laughs> yeah, you can turn your video off na lang muna so that we can have a no a uh, faster discussion. So, anyways, um. Going back, nasa na ba tayo pinag usapan natin? So yeah, Lina. um, no, si Lilay, no? <laughs> Ikaw, so um, what do you think? Is that something that you think you can do as well? Um, in, in, in giving feedback and calling a person out? Yes. <laughs> Kanina yung ginawa ni Abby. Abby. <laughs> okay yung ginawa ni Abby actually. It's, it's, it's um, very soft softly and uh, spoken eh hindi siya yung parang uh, harsh she started yes. hey lilay pansin ko lang ganyan parang may sinabi siya uh, uh, ano. so i agree din naman no um it's all about the delivery um oh, the although delivery. the delivery can be 
yeah, the, again, um, that's why I said nga, you would be the best people to decide how to talk to your guys uh, as well. Uh, At the same time, um, it doesn't hurt if you ask them, um, Lilay, um, how do you want to get feedback? Do you want a do you want it directly done to you or do you want it parang, you know, a little bit um, positively scripted, you know, parang a little bit mm-hmm. softer blow for you. Mm-hmm. Kaya important yeah. ng tanungin yung mga yeah. tao natin. Yeah. Ayun. These are all talaga hand in hand eh. Lahat yan eh. Yung parang mm-hmm. asking their style because this yes. will happen. Situations like this will happen where you have to give feedback. But That's at the right. same time, you're not just giving negative feedback. You have to give positive mm-hmm. feedback kasi parang Para kang parang bank, de, pang, ba, emotional bank, de ba? Yeah, you're putting yeah. positive, you're depositing. Uy, good job. Ay, ang galing ng nano knife skills mo. Okay yan. Thanks for your suggestion. Blah, blah, blah. All these positives, binibigay mo siya throughout. And you have to have more positives than negatives. Kailangan ma-outweigh yan eh. So when the time mm. comes na you have to give a negative feedback, they're not like, huh? Puro yun na lang, napupun- pinupuna mo na lang lahat ng negative ko. Uh-huh. So, so hindi parang, sila, yeah, correct. Para hindi sila masanay na gano'n. Parang yeah. na-recognize mo pala yung positive side. And there's a study na, I think, there's five positives to one negative. Like, that's the ratio yata. Pero a really um, toxic negative, negative to na. one positive. Pero sa parang may gano'n na parang you uh, have to be aware to also <laughs> acknowledge and praise and uh, positive. Right. So basically, yeah. no, um, just like what you are looking at on the screen right now. So nasagot na natin yung is it the truth? No, whenever you give feedback, is it fair? Is it fair for somebody to just be given all negative feedback? Diba? Hindi rin naman. It's demotivating. Kung puro positive naman, then you are going to be led to believe that you are not doing anything wrong or that you are perfect, which would not make it fair for the person nor you. Kasi hindi complete eh. Diba? Parang na so, overpraise, ganun. <laughs> oh, hindi rin naman pwedeng maghahanap talaga tayo ng opportunity for this person if everything that this person does is right. So, diba? just just give them what they're due. Kung if what they're doing is right and, and perfect, then you tell them that. Kung magkamali, then you also give that feedback. You know, parang, okay. And, uh, kunyari, um, again, no, si Lilay. So, oh, alright, Lilay. So, I want to talk about um, our attendance at this point, no? Um, uh, care to share your what your thoughts are um, on on your own attendance. Yeah. So again, this is me trying to get it out of of Lilay instead of telling her kung ano yung problem sa attendance. I would want to get a good gauge of what her understanding is of her own attendance. So yeah, let, let's change gears a little bit. So we know nga na umuwi siya no na maaga, and uh, you want to call it out. <clears throat> so, hey, Lilay, um, how are you doing today? So, I'm good and all that. All right. Great. Um, so, um, for today, I want to talk about a little bit on, on our attendance. No? Um, um, I want to ask uh, how how you feel about, you know, the attendance policy, Masyad of strict. You know, you can start with that, you know, kind of that, that, that kind of language. Um, so, there's a possibility that maisip niya yon or hindi. And most likely, and if, if People might deny it, diba na para oh, muya kina maaga. So yeah, I, 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 um, you can say that there are observations. No, I noticed nagito ganyan or parang um, or you can ask them subtly, no. Um, yeah, uh, you know what? We closed up at five o'clock. Um, uh, we, and we missed you. Uh, what happened, diba? So pa yung ganon yung approach natin, no? To again to make that subtle hirit na oh, but ka muya na maaga. But, but again, that's another way of doing it. But hey, so so what happened? Um, yeah, I had to go home because it took it and whatever. Okay. Um, yun yeah. Th- th- and then you say now, uh, moving forward, I'd appreciate it if you can tell me. Okay, lang naman from time to time that that happens. Uh, pero still, diba, you're, you're paid for that 10 minutes that you went home for. So we want to be fair naman to, to Aaron and Arthur because, diba, nakaya naman. So you can you can do it like that. You can play on their emotions. Um and and let them realize these things na. but for the most part drag it out of them parang, i like what you said kanina yung parang um yung word na ginamit mo parang we're a team and we're a united front parang may ganun to that effect na parang everyone in this team is you know committed to the same time so parang dapat hmm? in that in that kind of ano yeah Th- that language would depend on what their motivations are Because if they if they say na yeah i'm a team player i want to be a leader soon then you can take it take it against them 
and say, oh, di ba, um, you want to be a leader soon. Um, you're looking at the possibility of uh, managing your own branch, di ba? And uh, that's the vision naman that we have. We're going to open up two more branches and uh, we are eyeing you to be managing one of them. Um, when we're talking about attendance, um, syempre, important yung appearances natin. And uh-huh. um, I'm pretty sure you would appreciate it as well that, you know, if people tell you where they are at at any point. Kasi if you get asked, syempre, you're responsible, you're accountable for everybody. Diba? So, you know, you can play it like that, no, with them. Um, pull on their heartstrings, use their words against them, and say, na, you know, just, just basically to remind them na, oh, diba? So, ganito, ganyan. Para ganun, very, very gently lang naman. Um, and that's why you want to give feedback immediately, no? Because if it goes on, kind of like what, what happened to Abby, for, for quite some time, mahihirapan ka mag-correct. Kasi parang, oh, kala ko, okay lang ako eh, kasi hindi naman ako nasisita eh. And you have to assume, guys, that people will always challenge things like that, no? It's kind of like kids. Um, <clears throat> kids will always test your boundaries and see how much leeway you are willing to give them. Um, and if you don't call them out on them, the first time you you notice something that they did something wrong, no? You're gonna keep on pushing the envelope and say, "Oh, pwede pala to, eh. I'll try something else." Keep pushing it, keep pushing it, tanggang sa maabuse nasa. So you wanna stop that, you know? You wanna call it out, that God. Yeah. All right. Are we good for now? Yes. Right. Okay. Okay. So uh, again, is it the truth? Is it fair to all concerned? Goodwill there. Will it build goodwill and better friendships or relationships? Okay, so makakabuti ba siya? Meaning, um, di ba, parang ganun nga, no? Are you, are you uh, encouraging bad behavior if you don't call it out? Di ba? Um, Siyempre, hindi naman yun yung point, no? Um, what we would want is to, to help improve everybody. So that's why you are giving that feedback. So does it build goodwill? If we are indeed concerned, for them professionally and personally, we want to call them out. Diba? True friends will tell you what you are doing right and wrong, diba? To their face. Na parang, uy, ayusin mo yung attendance mo. Especially for people that you work with and they are friends, diba? Uy, ayusin mo yung attendance mo. But, kasi you're concerned because baka matanggal sila sa work, no? If they continue doing that. So you can do that. Uh, you can do that with friends na, no? You can call them out. Uy, ayusin, kala ko ba, no? Um, diba, kay, may, may pinag-iipunan kang whatever. Tapos late ka ng late, di ba? That's a possibility. Baka matanggal ka. Di ba? So that's coming out of that genuine concern naman. And lastly, <clears throat> whenever you give feedback, you have to think uh, about whether it will be beneficial to all concerned. And I think we already established that no? by giving feedback, it is beneficial for everybody, the person that you're giving feedback to, um, you yourself as the manager, and of course, the, the business as well. So yeah, um, don't forget lang whenever you give feedback that you have this in mind, no? The four-way test. Is it the truth? Is it fair? Will it build goodwill? And is it going to be beneficial to all concerned? All right? Good so far? So let's continue. So I know we, we have been using this word a whole lot, no? Um, but what is coaching in your own words? Yeah, let's start with Abby. Uh, what's coaching for you? Parang, ano kasi, coaching is parang the one who instructs and trains. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm. Instructs and trains? Anything else? Uh, um, coaching to is parang, uh, uh, they give guidance. Give guidance. Yes. Okay. Sige. Good. Thank you. How about you, Ara? Coaching is the uh, same, same then. Uh-uh. Parang um, trying to um, help the person um, self, like you said, self-actualize, self-realize. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Not really pres- uh, kumbaga, prescribe, like not give the answers, but to make the person um, ask <coughs> questions na to, to help the person achieve their own uh, realizations. Right. Okay. Sige. Good. Now, um, if feedback is telling, coaching Again, for, for the most part, no, and this is what we have been trying to correct. Because we think that it would be telling then, no? uh, in terms of the guidance and training. Um, but coaching is mostly asking. Uh, um, this is so that um, there's a self-realization and actualization. Um, good coaches ask the right questions in, in, in the right order to prompt 
a reflection from the person that you are coaching. Uh, again, very, very important. Um, you, you're not really coaching if you are not asking. So um, if you notice, I mean, of course, yes, I will say a little bit something about the situation, but for the most part, I will ask you about it as well so that you get to think for yourself. Kasi nga para ma-realize mo. And this is how you get a good gauge nga um, for the maturity of the person that you're talking to. No? Um, so, kunyari nga, si Dilay, oh, what do you think? Um, how are you doing? Um, I just noticed na, yun nga, na parang, because uh, I, I was looking for you five minutes before we closed out at five o'clock. Uh, and, uh, you know, uh, we missed you at that point. Um, I want to know what happened. Bakay, can you tell us a little bit more? And again, that's more asking questions instead of telling me like, nawala ka eh. Diba? I mean, that's already implied diba? when I said, nah, you know, we, we missed you at that time. But it came out very positively and non-judgmental at all. So this person still has dignity, necessarily having tail tucked behind her legs. Diba? So um, we keep the humanity there. You, you, um, you still respect people that way. Yeah, yeah. But again, because normally, line, yung, I think also, Mary, oh, that's a good point. Because eh, usually, defensive na tayo agad eh. Kapag yes. feeling natin ina-attack tayo or yes. ina-judge tayo. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah. Um, again, in, in coaching, it's very important that we be conscious in the words that we say and how we say this. Um, especially for fighting words. What I mean by fighting words is yun nga, no? uh, when we say you, um, you cannot help or one cannot help but feel defensive or to, to defend themselves because you are being accused of something already. So instead of, uh, kunyari, um, oh, you were late, diba? what you can do is use parang observation statements like, you know, I, I uh, kunyari, um, you, Lilai, was late, no? Um, you know, I feel that when when you're late, that I am not being respected. Diba? So that's that's what we feel. Diba? That's what I feel as a person coaching you. And from yesterday as well, we learned that our feelings are always going to be valid. So this person, when you use that language, I feel that uh, you know when you're late that you're not respecting my time. Diba? Parang you cannot, para hindi ka na magiging defensive. Nun. In fact, magiging, parang you'll, you'll have that guilty feeling saying, oh, I'm sorry that you felt that way. It's not, diba? Hindi naman yun yung gusto ko mangyari. So, ganun din din yung, again, the, the, the language that we use would greatly affect the conversation nga, no? And how we steer it. So, we just have to be very, very conscious when we deliver it. Yeah. Um, so, with what we said, no, about coaching, it's it's all of these, no? Um, it's It's, you know, professionalism, uh, it's mentoring, it's training, it's teaching, instructing people, and yes, that's correct, by ways of coaching naman. All right, so again, this is more for asking questions. So now we have, uh, we did feedback, which is telling, coaching, which is asking, and third, yan, is mentoring naman. Now, um, mentoring, uh, para ano, no, para ma, ma Mentoring is is uh, a different approach altogether. Mentoring is more for the bigger choices in life, the bigger decisions that we make. And mentorship is something that is because uh, like when you're coaching, uh, the person that you are coaching does not have a choice but to get coached. Mentorship. This person that you are mentoring has a choice whether to listen to you or not. Also, the person that you are mentoring, um, parang ikaw din yung pinili niya to mentor them. So it's a two-way street. Again, when when a coach talks to someone, it is required. It's something that happens na walang choice yung, yung kinu-coach nila but to listen. Yung mentorship is, again, a different process talaga. So, if let's say, hey, Abby, I want you to be my mentor. Okay lang ba? Can you mentor me? So that entails getting yeah, direction, training, support, motivation, uh, making sure that we are in alignment with our goals uh, in order to be successful. And it goes both ways. Kasi nga, the direction that I'm going to be getting is from Abby. And Abby would have to agree that she will guide me. And she will give me direction, training, support 
from that mentorship. So basically, that's that. Nga, no? um, mentorship, again, it's the act of guiding, um, counseling, and, and supporting someone. All right. So yeah, the difference ng ng feedback giving, ng coaching and mentoring, um, in in this topic, no, in what we're talking about. So um, having that said, uh, I wanna take a pause here and uh, we'll, we'll break very soon. But I wanted to ask as well, um, what questions do you have? Any clarifications? Anything else that you wanna add to what we talked about so far? I think uh, important talaga yung ano um everything we. We talked about feedback, mm -hmm. and also yung yung parang yung skills and the skill to to phrase it in a way na um it's ano kumbaga very ano ba tawag in a way hospitable. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, you're you're friendly, not friendly na friendship ma na parang oy family na ganon. It's just um. My care, nice. yon. My care, my care, my care. Uh, not my nice, care, my care. not nice. Yeah, yeah. Parang it's more of care because care can be. You can say something that's negative nga. Pero my care, de ba? Because uh, you care you know about the reason. that person. You know where it's no? coming from. Oh, hindi yung correct, parang correct, correct. attacking ganon. So I think that's it's important with everything, like with just life, like with people you interact with, and uh, then yung um, when you're observing someone, <laughs> na you say how you feel, not in not oi. You were late. You say, I observe that ganyan ganyan, and this is how it made me feel, or whatever. Mm -hmm. diba? It's like, it's phrasing it, eh, na parang to, to get the, a better outcome. Parang ah, right. Good. 